A game-changing moment that happened for me uh, was when I was involved in a serious car accident and I lost uh, the ability to really move. I was confined to a bed for quite some time and um, Vic Firth had sent me uh, a pair of sticks before this had happened and I remember when I was in bed the sticks were on the floor and it was uh, the one thing that I kept seeing um, I didn't have any drums set up. The only thing that I had that was musical that was there in uh, my line of sight was the box of sticks that I had ordered. And um, unfortunately, I, at that time, I didn't think I'd ever play again. And it was really challenging for me and very difficult um, getting through that ordeal. But seeing that box of sticks and the logo, the Vic Firth logo, gave me a lot of hope that uh, I'd be able to play again. And I really credit that for uh, part of uh, my success in getting through this uh, horrific car accident. When I first opened the box, uh, I had very little muscle memory. So uh, just opening the box was um, therapy for me. And uh, when I finally got a pair of sticks out, um, it was an SD4 pair of sticks, which is the stick that I use. Um, I'll never forget the first moment I held the sticks in my hand again, I could only hold them for maybe less than a second and before they would fall because I had no muscle memory. As time went on, uh, you know, I really tried uh, on a practice pad to, to play uh, just basically a uh, press roll and I had to stop until I, you know, uh, I developed sort of a technique where I would let go and grab the stick again. And that turned into my own new technique, which I still used to today, um, but I got a phone call to audition for a, a show that at that time was off-Broadway called In the Heights, and I couldn't hold the sticks long enough without, I had to tape them to my hand. So a uh, really life-changing moment for me uh, was when I got called to do the audition, and I was like, you know, thinking to myself, God, how am I going to do this? Uh, I want to do it, and I know I need to do it, uh, but I don't want to wrap tape to hold the sticks, but it was the only way I could play and really get through more than five minutes or ten minutes of playing. And uh, it wasn't a pretty sight for me, and you know, musically it wasn't great because you're not holding the stick yourself. Um, so a really uh, life-changing moment for me was when I got into the audition, I sat down and I decided not to use the tape. And I pushed myself harder than I've ever pushed myself to do anything. Um, to get through the first song uh, and I knew that I was going to be able to do it. I just felt it in my heart. I'm like, you know what, I can do this. And some, somehow the, the, uh, the wood, uh, I could feel the wood and it helped me get through, you know, being able to feel the texture as I let go and grab the stick again was something that helped me get through the first maybe 40 seconds of holding the stick. And I really had to focus and it probably wasn't the most musical thing I've ever done in my life, but I got through the whole audition without using the tape, and uh, it's, it's, I'm really proud of that moment in my life.